Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am sitting here with some magazine pages and an oatmeal container that I recycled and uh, quickly took out of the recycling bin because last night I had an idea. I was thinking of covering this with two inch squares of fabric and then I thought for those people who do not have fabric, why don't we just do two inch squares of magazine pages? I've never cut magazine pages into two inch squares and I'm excited to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm just going to do them like patchwork on the container. I just pulled out different colors out of the magazine page. I don't care if there's, you know, words that show. Look at this nice green, some aqua. Like, I might not use this part, but I'm just going to cut them orange. I loved the color of her skin, and hopefully we'll have some of this happening. Look, some pretty flowers, just different things. And, of course, there's the flip side. If I, you know, I could have some of this house or some of the green and then there's some pretty cool things going on here. But I'm not going to fussy cut. You certainly could. You could just cut individual, you know, little pictures out, which would be really cool. But I don't have the time for that right now. So I'm just going to be cutting randomly and picking as I go. One inch squares I think would be even cooler. But I'm going with two inches because, again, time. It's a pretty big container. That's just what I've decided on. So let me just start cutting some of these. I guess I'll do it this way. I could have probably gotten two inches out of some of these, but I'm just tossing them. We're going to work with this little pile, unless I need more. I've decided I'm going to start at the top. You do want to check and make sure that your squares don't end in a funky place. Now, I will have squares going down to this 8-inch mark, and then, you know, I can put another one there, and this end will be easier to trim, so I'll just trim the paper when it gets down to there. I have some glue. You could also use your Mod Podge. But I have glue and I added just a little bit of water to water it down. I think this is not the brush that I want to use. Not quite wide enough. This will be better. And then I just have a wet rag for spills, sticky fingers, whatever. So I'm just going to start. Let me see. I need to, what, I need to do something. Maybe move you back. You needed to be taller. I am going to just put some glue a little bit of watered down glue. We will be Mod Podging this whole thing after. And I'm just going to shove a square on there. Oh, I already love it. <laughs> oh, and I do have the oven on. I'm going to try drying this in the oven like I do with the Mod Podge. I'm going to do it before we put the Mod Podge, just so things don't slide around. I guess I'll go in this direction. And I'm not going to, you know, worry if they don't butt right up. You know, they could overlap a little bit. I think this is going to be cool, except that flower. I'm kind of wanting things to not be upside down. And that looks like that flower belongs this way. This really would be a good time to fussy cut images out of a magazine, which is something that I would absolutely love to do if I had the time and or my mother would love to do something like that. Well, let's just, yikes. Let's just um, go around once. I measured this. I don't know if I mentioned that around eight inches. So I know that I'm good with two inches in this direction. Um, if I have to you know, fill a little space because I overlapped too much. Well, we'll worry about that when we get there. Well, there, we already have our first row done. And again, you can opt to not have words. I'm not, I'm not fussy about that. Now, just like in sewing, 
I don't think we need to have intersections matching up. So I'm going to do the next row. Um, I'm just going to do the next row like this. So we're not worried about intersections. Look at this, how pretty. Oh, I wish I would have fussy cut stuff. You know, I had boxes and boxes of magazines, and I tried to do a good thing and get rid of them, and I did, and now I regret, because I always regret. All right, I'm just going to continue, and you can watch for a little bit. It's wrinkling up on me a little bit, um, probably because of the water. Maybe I didn't need to do that, but that's okay. I'm going to like it just the same. And when I Mod Podge that, you know, those wrinkles will just give it character. Okay, let me finish covering this whole container and then I'll show you how I trim the bottom. I put this in the oven for 10 minutes and it's nice and dry. And I don't know, I like it, but I'm telling you, fussy cutting would be awesome. And it wouldn't have to be every single piece. It would be nice to have like a lot of kind of solid or near solid things with no writing or very little writing and then have like a cat or a dog or whatever you like here and there. Now I could just fold this over and glue it. Maybe I should have done that. Huh? That's what I'm going to do. I already put my glue away, so I'm going to use my Mod Podge. And I'm using the matte Mod Podge this time, just because I feel like it. I will have links down below to the Mod Podge, so you can go check that out. And I'm just going to fold these over, I don't know, as best as I can, and stick those there. I think that was a good idea. That gives it a nice clean edge on the bottom. All right, Mod Podging. Very simple. I'm going to just, uh, I put some in a little cup. I don't know if you could see that. And I'm just going to slobber this all over it. In the oven, 10 minutes. I don't know if I mentioned, put it on the lowest temp you can get with your oven. Mine goes down to 170 degrees. I have Mod Podge coat number one done. It's dry. Remember, when you take it out, it might feel tacky, but it's just because it's still warm. It takes about 30 seconds for it to cool, and then it's good. Here's my thing. I did some editing, and the only thing I don't like about wordy pieces is it looks like I didn't cover the container. You know what I mean? It looks like that might be the ingredients list or something. But other than that, I like it very much. It really gives me some ideas. I like it, you know, it's different than when you just throw all kinds of scraps of paper on there. All right, let me Mod Podge one more time, dry it again, show it to you again, and we will be done. Nice and dry. I love drying it in the oven. Actually, I only did it eight minutes. And I couldn't stand this up, so um, because I didn't take the rack out, I didn't feel like it. So I just laid it down, and I had no problem with that. I just put it right on the oven rack, not on a cookie sheet or anything. What I love the most about this is what I've learned. I've learned that you know there's just so many things we can do. First of all, I happened to Mod Podge that rim because it was there. Cover still fits. You can absolutely decorate the cover. You could put a circle of you know paper, or you could you know piece it. I don't know how well it would stick to plastic. I think it would be okay. I'm trying to think if I've ever done that. Um, I don't know, maybe you want to scratch it up a bit with some sandpaper, but I don't think you need to do that. And then, yes, we know fussy cutting would be the way to go, um, at least here and there. I really love the pieces like this that have just multicolor and no words 
and look that green same thing multicolor no words so next time I would do no words but if you have a hard time finding pieces you could always use just you know colored uh, printer paper that would work Printer paper isn't glossy, but with the Mod Podge on after, maybe that'll work good. Another thing I thought of is if you wanted to, you could take strips of, you know, again, printer paper and just cut little strips and then, you know, frame each one of these. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm half thinking of like what we do with fabric or you could even paint on top of this here and there. I don't know just so many ideas. I like the feel of it. It's nice and stiff. If you really wanted it extra stiff, you could have wrapped some newspaper around it for a Mod Podge that, like a layer or two of newspaper, and then do your decorative stuff, and it would be really stiff. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, it's not that I'm trying to get you to make this. I'm just trying to get you to have ideas as to what you can do. And I like to show you the process, how we can put it in the oven to dry it really quick and all that stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'll be back with more soon. I'll take some pictures coming right up. Bye.